So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticulator video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create two charts, a progress bar and a radial progress bar. So let's get started. Okay, I am not the biggest fan of pie charts and donut charts, but this particular donut chart, I think it works. And the reason I think it works is because you don't need to do any mental calculations to understand what's going on. You can actually see what's going on. You can count it easily in your head. So it makes it very, very clear chart, in my opinion. Let me know if you think different on the comments. But um, to do it, unfortunately, I had to create a separate table. And uh, I have sent a request for chart to to do a small change that hopefully will avoid doing that. And I'll show you why in a second. But the table that I created was first the height of the bar, then if it should be green or gray, so what percentage should be colored. And then we have one to sort them because otherwise they won't get sorted properly. And this is for the label, right? And we could avoid all this with one setting, but we don't have it for now, so we have to live with it. Let me do a copy of these so we can do it separately. So the first chart, again, you go to uh, get more visuals, download Charticular again. It updates very often, so you want to make sure that you have the latest one. Edit, create chart, and then make sure that you put all your fields up there. Okay, so now, the same way that we created the pie chart and the donut chart, this is the same thing. So a progress bar is basically a bar chart. Maybe we should start with the progress bar and then I'll show you the right radial one. So what I'm going to do is to put a mark, and then you can see that it's the 10 marks that we already have on data set. It, the height is going to be the 10. And uh, did it catch it? Yeah. So we're going to do it smaller. <laughs> Not that small, it's more like that. A little bit smaller. So. And now we are going to color it. So to color, we have a column for that. So I put color, and then I have the green and the gray. Works beautiful. And then I put it in there. I'm going to put a new guide for the label. So I go here, I put a text box from here to there. Make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to put the KPI on the text. This is going to be the sum, right? And then this is going to be, so you have to add it manually and it's going to be 0.0% to be able to um, format it correctly. You will get the 40% and then you make it a little bit bigger, you color it, whatever you like, you can have another type, and then that's the bar chart, right? Here you have it, like really nice, a progress chart. Now, how do you turn these into a circular one? So it is actually quite similar. Let's see if I can modify this. Probably we need to make it bigger again. So the thing is, the difference between the progress bar and the radial is obviously that the axis is a radial. So if I change this to polar and put it in there, right? So you get it right away. So to do the labels, we put a guide in there, another guide in there. Like that. And then one there. I'm not sure if you need th that many guides, but you know, you're always, for me, it goes everywhere but where I want it. Save. Now it seems to be in the right place. So I am going to now put the KPI as text, and then you need to do the exact same thing. You put 0p as percentage and you don't want the average 
Where are you? Where do you go? Oh, there. Uh, you don't want the sum, you want the... The average, you want the sum. So you need to change it to sum, and then we need to add the zero dot p, because it is percentage. And then you have it there, you make it bigger, like we did before, you can change the font to, for example, so we have the same, and then you put new color, and save, and you get your um, radial progress bar. So, now you know how to make them. If I found, oh, I didn't tell you this. Um, what I think we could, on this radial chart, if we were able to actually specify the angle dynamically, we could create two charts, right? And then color them. And that way we could do this with measures only. But the way it is now, I haven't seen any way that, to create that chart. If you find a way, let me know in the comment box and we will do a video about it. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.